technique. It's just really a pressure technique on the back of your neck in a certain place that will pop open your sinuses if you have congestion or your sinuses are not draining and you're gonna feel wonderful because you're gonna breathe again. So uh, in practice, I use this technique on thousands of people with great success and I'm gonna show you how to do it. Now, I do wanna mention a couple things about the sinuses because this is an acupressure technique and there's other things that can cause a sinus problem like um, fungus growing in your sinuses, um, bacterial infection, et cetera, et cetera. And also an allergy to cheese, okay? So cheese is probably the biggest culprit. So if you have a sinus problem, just avoid cheese and see if that doesn't just clear it up. And of course, sugar feeds the unfriendly fungus and yeast that are in the sinuses and just avoiding that would probably help you greatly. I did a video on using a couple drops of diluted kimchi juice that works really good on reestablishing the normal microbes in your sinuses. And of course, Spanish black radish is a good remedy for sinus problems, okay? You have two options, okay? You can either get a device like this, my device, and use this on the back of your neck, or you can get someone to watch this video and just apply the technique. So I'm gonna show you both ways. This vertebra right here, the second one, um, could it work if you just applied pressure? And what I found was it does work very dramatically. But the first thing I want you to do is just to check your sinuses and plug one sinus and then see which sinus is open and which one is closed and just kind of get in a conceptual idea of how bad it is because then you wanna re-rate it and see how much better it is. But you should feel great relief immediately applying pressure to the second vertebra. The nerves that control the sinuses, okay, uh, are part of the cranial nerves, which are higher up in, in the brainstem, like right in the occiput way over here. It doesn't necessarily extend down into these this area of the body that I know of, but there could be some type of connection. I just don't know. All I know is when you press into this area, okay, correctly, you can cause a great opening of the sinuses, okay? And I'm gonna show you how to do it to someone else and then that person can do it to you. You wanna take your thumb and your middle finger right here, okay? I'm not flipping you off, but you want to press into, okay, directly from the back part called the posterior to the anterior. You wanna directly put pressure right here. I usually like to have the person sitting down and I like to kind of um, get my elbow right here and press this way. You're gonna press right here. So this is, you apply your fingers about this wide, okay? Now, how do you find it? Right underneath the skull, you drop right down. The first one you're gonna feel is the first one, okay? You just drop down about, I'd say maybe three-fourths of an inch, okay? Maybe an inch below this back part here. It's called the back of the skull occiput. So you drop down about an inch and you'll be right at the, uh, second cervical vertebra, and you're gonna just apply pressure. Now you're gonna take your other hand and put it in the, uh, the forehead so you're not just pressing this way, right? So you take the forehead, let's show you right here, hold that, and then you press in this way, this pressure right here, okay? So you just press, it doesn't have to be that hard, and hold, okay? The key is making sure that the pressure on the this finger and this thumb is equal, okay? And you're just gonna hold that for maybe 20 seconds to 30 seconds. And you're just gonna ask the person, tell me when you can start breathing again. And probably within 10, 15 seconds, they're gonna go, wow, I can breathe better, right? So if you do it longer, you'll have more improvement. So that's the simplicity of how to do this technique. Now, if you have my device, um, you can use the medium width one, and you can put it right in the back of the neck and lay on a, a tall back chair or a couch, 